Hey, we are just getting started. We've been out here this morning. Food just came up, an entire truckload of food. And so we've been here as an entire truckload of food came up today. When it comes in and needs to be sorted, it's like this. This is what's called middle aisle donations. So the middle aisle of, say, a Walmart or a Sam's Club or a Target, all of this, they, ran, they normally throw it away, so we take it in these great big um, totes and we get it and then we sort it out so we can give it away clean. Today we have this, our walk-up line. Good morning. Our walk-up line. Good morning, you guys. Buenos dias. Todas bien? Hey, dulce. Ah, mucho pastels y comida para babies. Ah. So thank you so much for helping you guys. Look at that chocolate cake. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. So all kinds of good food today. The chocolate cake was from, we got it through Amazon, I think, was something like that. And it's what goes to Costco. So if you've ever had a chocolate cake at Costco, that's where those chocolate cakes come from. We've had them in the freezer and the dates. It's great. The use by date is fall of 2023. So when you pick up a chocolate cake at one of these places and it says, you know, freshly baked, like all of these do, <laughs> well, the use by date is still over a year away so freshly baked at some point anyway this is our line today it's not too long we're just around the corner right now as we get started central community right here if you know how to move a palm tree we should like to get rid of that dead one we've got live ones we can put there you could come out and help with that that would be fantastic we've got this week i think it starts going in a fence coming in all the way around the property that's going to be such a strange thing to adjust to as part of our food ministry and food support to be able to keep everything secure for everything morning so we'll be up morning so we'll be able to help this be more secure we've been trying to morning we've been trying to do this so we can be not just helping our community with the food but helping our community by being more secure with all of it with the secure storage we've expanded now with the fencing going up it's everything you know it's one thing you just don't even begin to understand when you set out a table two years ago and think yeah we'll give away some food to a few senior citizens who need it and then you find out it's so much more than all of that and it's just expanded on itself across two years and you know i guess it's not different than any of our other ministries they just as you're willing to grow with your ministries your ministries grow so i guess that if there's any advice for any of you who are interested in starting a food bank ministry, that would be one of them. If you're willing to grow with your ministry, it will grow. And I would highly recommend that you do it. Good morning. How are you today? Thought I'd be in. Gracias. Miracle Mary right there. How you doing, Mary? Um, Mary's taking all the names, numbers, all that kind of stuff that come in. So that's good. Buenos dias. Thought I'd be in. Ah, perfecto. Perfecto. Gracias Dios para todo, ¿sí? Yeah. Um, every time I see a silver Sequoia, I miss my old Sequoia so much. But I love my new car, a gift from God. So wonderful. It's been a blessing. Thank you, God. Um, God is good. Life is good. Today we have a ton, literally well, more than a ton, a baby food which with the desperation for baby food right now we had to throw away a whole bunch of baby food the other day and so because the dates were past doing with baby food we don't do these ones the dates are still a couple months out so we're being able to use so we're able to give as much of it away as possible today for everyone who has infants in their household so that's a blessing with people hunting out baby food the way they are and it's expensive on top of that. Besides hunting it out, it's just really expensive. So we've got a couple of pallets of that that we're giving away today. It's just a gift to be able to help the community and those people who are facing food insecurity right now. So you are welcome to be a part of all of this. If your life is being exceedingly blessed, you can give to help support what we're doing. I went to Feeding America, spent $300 on stuff yesterday that we don't have just draining our budget you can always go to 14jc.com the number one 
the number four, the letter J, the letter C.com, 14JC.com, a really easy domain name to remember. And right there is a spot for you to give. Here's Ira working away. Ira, he's always the conversationalist. We were talking this morning. We had it going. There's baby food. See, he's got two boxes of baby food coming out. Lunchables. Boy, cases of Lunchables. Look at all these Lunchables. Everyone getting Lunchables today. So that's really cool. I've never eaten a Lunchable in my life, but I can't tell you how much the parents love it when we're giving away Lunchables. And we've got all of these cases of food. Okay? That are going out that are already packed by pack. We'll give you a blank card for you to fill out for them. This is Ben right here, Ben, a new worker. Mike right here who's training Ben. Thank you for recruiting Ben. Here we've got deli roasted turkey. I've been part of what we picked up yesterday. Marie Calendar bowls. No idea what that is. More of that big look at this. We Hershey's pots of gold chocolate pallets of the stuff. We gave that away on the street Sunday night. We're giving it away now. Um, food. 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 Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> Joshua's dad, Marty's out picking up more right now. I guess we've got another truckload of food coming in. And as random as it sounds, I kid you not, one of the biggest pain in the neck things of our entire food ministry is sorting this kind of stuff. Anytime you'd like to sort this and you think you come across something like Man, I love ginger beer. I can't believe they've got ginger beer in here. Man, I love famous Dave's Devil's Spit Pickle Chips. We, you, you're happy to have it if you come and sort this out. Um, we would love to get someone to come and come here this morning and sort this out. That would be wonderful. Look at that. Repta calcium. Calcium for your reptile if you own a reptile. The most bizarre stuff that comes from Middle Isles. If you know how to drive a forklift, we've got about three or four guys who are really good at driving it. But right now, every one of them on the line over here. Oh, there's Ron. Someone trying to run over Ron right there. A first timer. First timers coming through line. They like to slow down, look at everything. Keep him going, Josh. <laughs> yo, yo. Everything's already in your car, man. What's he doing? I think this guy's thinking about stopping our line. <laughs> And this is when they talk about security stuff. You got people coming in suddenly wanting to stop up the whole line with their truck. I don't know what the story is there, Ron. Uh, I know what the story is. They want to shop. He was shopping. Is that what he's doing? Slowly going through and just seeing what he wanted? We pretty much try to give everyone the same thing because of that. So. It's just part of the deal. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for every single person who supports what we're doing here. That big freezer, what a gift. Look at this. Today I'm taking fish from my big fish down to Siempre para los Niños. Last week I was heavily criticized by all the children for not bringing some of my fish. So I'm hoping some's left. I've been giving it away to people like crazy. You can imagine. Oh, look at that. Hallelujah. Man, that is good fish. So, a bunch of that's going down to Siempre today. I wonder if that means I could start writing off fishing trips. <laughs> that's, you know, I catch the fish for orphans. So I, do that. I, nah, I don't think that would work. Anyway, um, God bless you. Thanks so much for everything you do. Let me show you inside. Our new storage is over there. In the what, what was the welcome building, that's now additional storage. Um, this is... The freezer, we found it, it defrosted itself. Last night it scared me to death. It was at 32 degrees, but it defrosted itself and then came back down. And then this is next week's food in the chapel. And this is one of the reasons we're building additional storage so we can get our chapel back. And we'll be able to have the chapel that we've been using for storage. 
If you ever need antibacterial wipes, we've got a few pallets of those. We've got lots of coffee for next week, apparently. Chewy bars, sugar, tomato sauce, peaches, all this stuff that will be utilized for next week and some of the week after that stuff stored there. And these things are being moved out. When we look at those totes I showed you, this is the kind of stuff that will come from middle aisle things. Um, chewable, vitamin C's, all that kind of stuff, which they throw away. There's not a thing wrong with it. They're just not going to do anything with that center aisle anymore. And so you can see Ken's famous notes. Do not use as we start moving stuff around. God bless you. Thanks so much for your support. Truck is out picking up food right now. Forklift's being worked right there. Freezer's in action. Team's going. Anytime you want to be a part of this team, on a Wednesday morning or a Tuesday morning, we would value your hard work and support anytime you want to give to make sure this can continue to happen. We would value your support. Anytime you would like to come and say, you know what, I can cook some of that and put on a great big barbecue. Teresa cooked a bunch of it for Memorial Day week and we were able to eat. We've got our courtyard here and you could put on a great big barbecue for all the volunteers and all the workers or, or for the whole community. You could make a pancake breakfast on a Wednesday morning. We could have it out here. We have got the food sometimes and it would be a great way to do it. Um, we've got this beautiful courtyard where every, we're building community. And that's the goal, and that's what's broken so often in our world, is not just people needing food, but community. And when community is restored, everyone will be fed. Hey, may God richly bless you and your household today and everything you say and do.